Now let's speak spiritually. Our Lord Jesus Christ, to some people, was arrogant. But this is the question that everybody must understand. Confidence is not arrogance. Ambition is not arrogance. Please understand, these, these are simple terms. It's language. Okay? When you are determined to do something, that's not arrogance. When you know you are right, you are right. The word confidence implies faith. Confidence comes from the Greek word confideo, which means having faith. I have faith that I'm right. And I know I'm right. Now, let's move away from the spiritual realm and come to the reality. I know the constitution of my party, the Patriotic Front, like the back of my hand. Half of the people that purport to expel me don't even read this constitution. They don't understand it. Why are they there? Some of these people, they have come and they're the ones preferring charges against me. Why are they there? Okobari, Bamans. Okobari. This is why they tamfia in me. Because they've been sent. Let's be serious. The president of my party, de facto president, and the Republican president, my older brother, Edgar Chagolungu, knows I have committed no offense. None whatsoever. The majority of the PF members know I have committed no offense. There is nothing wrong that I have done. Nothing. All I have shown is confidence, courage, ambition, and determination to push an agenda that I want to be president of this country. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with ambition. And if you're going to kill a spirit of determination in me, then you might as well stop sending your children to school. But can buy with couple. What are they learning? That it is okay to be pushed up and down, left, right, and center? Even and let me speak to the Zambians. Please move that camera close to me. Zambians, please understand me. This is one of the weaknesses we have as a nation. I'm speaking to everybody as a Zambian, and particularly to my friends in the PF. We tend to have this feeling. That just because someone is in authority, everything they do is correct. We should stop it. We should begin to have the spirit to fight against the wrong. Even if someone is in authority. And simply because someone is in authority, it does not mean that he thinks better than all of us. That he is more intelligent than all of us. No. He has been given the responsibility for this particular time to superintend on the affairs of the party. And that's all. But if he does something wrong, you've got to tell him to his face, this is wrong and I won't accept it. And that's all I'm saying. So to answer your question, in a nutshell, I am saying to the Zambians, I'm saying to the PF members, I have never been arrogant. No. Cancer, you, you understand the value and the essence of time. Yes, I do. All right. Uh, this is February. We are... Tomorrow is the last day of February and there will be March. Yes. Your party will be going for a convention in April and, mm. you know, mm. they'll be selecting new leaders. Mm. The president has outrightly put it that he's going to contest. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are the options that are there for you? Because <laughs> it, senior members like the SG, the deputy SG, and many senior members have said our preferred candidate is Edgar Lungu. You see the contradiction, Ramos? Do you see the contradiction in what you're saying? The same mouth says anyone can challenge the president. Okay? The same mouth says we have a sole candidate. <laughs> Where's the logic? Where's the logic? I have refused to attack the leadership of my party. But that is illogical. And the reason when I ask a, about when time, when it's an open council, fight. It's an open fight. And the reason I ask about time, council, is that I, I, I don't know if you already have structures. <laughs> I, well, I don't know. How much support you have? I remember the last time you came, you did, you did tell me that you're not alone. <laughs> You've got many. I, I don't know how true that is. And time is not on your side, realistically speaking. The truth of the matter is time is not on the party's side. I want to reverse that question. 
It's not about me. It's about the party, getting its house in order. As a ruling party, we must lead by example. Let's get our house in order. So when you say options, what options? I am a member of the Patriotic Front by heart. Everybody knows that. I don't flip-flop. I'm a very principled person, Ramat. If I decide to leave an organization, mm. an association, you hear me call you as a press, and I'll tell you. I have never done that. The president knows that. I saw my, <laughs> my young brother, uh, Max, saying, no, everybody must come back, make peace with the president. I never went anywhere. You've been around. I've been around. I'm right here. What have I done? Reconciliation as a Christian, I've been trained since I was a child to say sorry when I'm wrong, to reconcile forces when I'm wrong. That I don't disagree. But tell me what I did wrong so that I can apologize. If you're going to tell me to apologize for having an ambition, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. But I'll be betraying my own principles. I can't. Having an ambition is not an offense. It is not an offense. Let's be logical. So if we want to reconcile and there are issues that need reconciling over, I am open. But to say, apologize for having an ambition. I can't. I can't. I'm a man. I've got children. I've brought up children believing in a man who is principled, who is a disciplinarian, who is a father and an example to them. Then I should go and say, you should never have an ambition. What will my children say? What will my friends say? You are stringing us along? Eh? You, never, you are never serious? No. The, the fact of the matter, Council, is that if your membership is not reinstated, you cannot participate at the convention. All right. Is there going to be a, a national conference? The, the SG has announced that. Yes, that's an announcement. Remember, I've got rights under this constitution. I have rights. Ramansa, I have refused to cause confusion in the party. That's why I haven't gone to court. Remember, I wear many hats. I'm also a man. I'm a lawyer. So let's not take that lightly. Huh? It's not a threat, but I'm saying let's talk. We don't have time for legalities and things like that. But I need to be heard. Okay? I said at the last press briefing I had in my office, I will not call another press briefing mm. unless I see my president and talk one-on-one. -on -one. There are certain things I need clarification over. Okay? I have not had that opportunity. So I haven't called a press briefing. You haven't you tried to reach to him? Don't you have his number? I know I have the president's number. I have sent emissaries to my older brother, the president. I have sent church people. I have sent bishops. I have sent senior citizens of this country to tell him I need to see him. There are certain things I don't want to discuss in the open. We need to talk one-on-one. -on -one. What's the problem? It's not like I haven't tried. I have. It's not every day you want to be calling the president on the phone. No. You, you, you okay, seem I also know he's a president, he's busy. You see, you but when I send yeah. emissaries, mm. eminent men of the cloth, and I trust them, and they come back to me and say they've delivered a message, and the president keeps quiet, I'll wait. You seem surprised when I asked you about the national conference. There will be no national conference? <laughs> I also have to exercise my rights at that national conference. Clearly, you, you cannot, okay. under the circumstances. Okay, let's wait and see. But, but it brings That's me all I can tell you. Let's it, wait and it, see. It, it, now, it, also, it also now brings me back, Council, to my earlier question. Mm. Because I think if um, you are challenging your expulsion from the party, all right? And Have I gone to court, Bamas? No, no, as in mm. verbally challenging that, look, I'm not expelled because... I'm not challenging, I'm just refusing it. There's a difference. Please use the right terminologies, Bamas. There is no expulsion. The people who sat to expel me have no authority. They have no jurisdiction. Me trying to dignify their actions means I've accepted. I won't. I've refused to accept it. They know it. I know it. 
They know they are illegitimate. So, what is there to go to court over? But if it's about denying me going to the national conference, that I still retain a right. This constitution tells me if we can't resolve matters, my doors are open. Then I will tell the court what I know. Then I will speak in court. And then we'll be wasting more time in court. All I'm say I've been saying this, my man, all along. Let's talk. I'm an open book. I am an open book. I'm not antagonistic, no. But don't think I have no options, no. We can waste time in court if we need to, until my issues are resolved. I, I, I'm sensing, and I'm hearing a contradiction. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. You say if they deny you to go to the convention, you'll have options. You know, you'll go to court. I mean, in, in, in the same breath. Oh, I may do something. In the else. same breath, you told us that the current MCC of the PF is illegal. Yes. But then, how would you participate in I'll a convention be going run to by an enforce, illegal? No, I'll be going to enforce my rights. There's a secretary general there. Okay. The Constitution says if I want to stand for any position in the party, including the presidency, all I have to do is a day before, I should tell the Secretary General. I'll do that. Let him say no. Then they'll see from me. They'll hear from me. That's what I'm saying. I'm a member as far as I'm concerned. Whatever decisions they've taken, they're illegal. I've not accepted them. That's my position. What is your relationship with, 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 with the Secretary General? Do you have any relationship? With who? The Secretary General. Davis Mwila. Mm. I have no qualms about him. He's my Secretary General. I respect him. I accept his authority. He was appointed by the President. I have no problem. Mm. I have no problem with him. None. What but if you say personal relationship, yeah. no, he's not my friend. I don't know his habits. He doesn't know mine. How does it make you feel hearing from the CEO of the party that they already have a sole candidate? How does it make you feel as one of those I'm, that I'm not. I'm not moved. The truth of the matter is I'm not moved. Because I know the Constitution. Remember what I said. It's not arrogance. It's confidence. It's having faith. Is knowing that you're right. And when you're right, Ramon, that you're right. When you're right, you're right. What are the odds if, if, if per adventure, you are, you know, you're allowed to contest? Mm. And obviously, you'll be contesting against President Lungu. No. <laughs> no. What do you mean? The president shouldn't be there. The president candidature will be flying in the teeth of the Republican Constitution. Remember, whoever is elected at the conference is the flag bearer for mm. the PF to be their candidate. The president, for me, cannot stand. He's been elected twice. He's been sworn in twice. I have argued this position categorically. There is the Republican Constitution. The two are in tandem. This Constitution must fit into the Republican Constitution. The president must not be there as a candidate. De papata. No. I have said it. Even on the 23rd of April 2019, where I announced my candidature, I made it clear. My older brother must step aside. I have never wanted to challenge the President Lungu. That word from me, get it, I have never said it. On every forum, I have said I'm not challenging President Lungu. Any candidate, muleten. Not President Lung. Not President Lung. He's my older brother. He's done his two terms. But can He's been elected twice. Charlie Poa. 2015 to Aliwa Chai Lake. 2016 to Aliwa Chai Lake. Let him go. Let him go and enjoy his retirement. Let him go and enjoy his retirement. Why are we trying to cling on to a man like he's the only one who can save us? No, we are here. Let our President Lungu help us. With his help, we can still win. That's what we did. When we made him candidate, we helped him. Mm. You can't help others. I mean, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. 
We bent backwards. We humbled ourselves for his candidature to be successful. We worked left, right, and center. We bent backwards for him. We did the impossibles for him, for him to go to state house. Why can't he do the same to us? Even by Christian principles, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Is he denying it? Let him deny. The history is there for Zambians to see. We humbled ourselves. That arrogance they're talking about, if I was, if I was arrogant, when the phone rang in the night that we should go to the acting president's home then in Leonika, close there. I wouldn't have gone. That's arrogance. I went. I humbled myself. My president, what's going on? He explained. We started a journey together. Believing this is the right thing to do. And it was the right thing then. And I have insisted I have done nothing wrong in supporting the President Lungu. Nothing. All we ask now is that he reciprocates. It's not too much to ask. It's I mean, not too much. Well, he's done his bit. Seven, eight years in that office is too much. America, eight years in Shnaipua. You understand? All these legalities of arguing as semantics, mm. no term, no elected twice. The constitution is clear. The 1996 constitution, first election. 2016 constitution, second election. You can't interpret the two using the 2016 election. I mean constitution. You can't. The first election for Balungu was in 1996 constitution. A very different book. Lumbi, when he signed the Constitution Amendment on the 5th of January 2016, that's when the new Constitution came into force. The law does not operate retroactive. You can't use the 2016 Constitution to make his candidature of 1996 illegal. You can't. These are principles of law. They are very simple. Any student of constitutional law knows this. Everybody knows. I wasn't sleeping when they taught constitutional law. No, I had a very intelligent professor, Professor Shimba. He's the late now, but he was a very good professor. Mm. Well, we've been told that Abale Tali Kabaka Imwena, Lungu will be on the ballot, whether they like it or not. And, and they say whether KBF likes it or not. No, don't, don't bring a fight between me and my party. I've just given you what my position is. And I believe we shall talk. I believe that. That's what I keep saying to you. There's, there's faith in me. I'm a Christian. Huh? I'm a Christian. So when I want to do something, I don't just get up. No, I pray. I believe. I'm not a fighter as people want to. No, no, no. Neither to all the Lungu candidate, I won my elections, you say. We were in prayers, some of us. Maybe they were not praying, but we were. 